out of several global pandemics, the 1720 Great Plague Mark Cell had the least total deaths, which was 100,000, compared to 1820 Cholera Pandemic that took 1 to 2 million lives and 1920 Spanish Flu that killed 70 to 50 million people. How was it possible? Here is how the city council of Marseille with 1720 Great Plague. They established an patient board that later created a three-tier control and quarantine system. Every incoming ship would be inspected, including captain slog, crew, cargo, and passengers. If the team saw suspicious sign, the ship with everything it contained would not be allowed to enter the city. The second layer included quarantine at island outside of Marseille Harbour. Last layer acquired ship to be quarantined for 18 days and 50 to 60 days for crew and passengers. During this time, the city council of Marseille guaranteed everyone's comfort by building huge quarantine sites equipped with stores. Moreover, the government built two meters high and 70 centimeters thick wall from dry stone across the countryside to limit people's interaction with outsiders. The wall was known as Plague Wall or Murk de la Paix. Sounds familiar? Similar to the governments are doing currently. Lockdown, quarantine, social distancing, physical distancing. So yes, there is a recurring pattern of pandemic, but this is the consequence of living in a globalized, interconnected world. And that is precisely why studying international relations is an essential need in near future. Be a diplomat, policymaker, part of government to protect people. Be a businessman, part of MNCs who creates jobs and better life. Be a political analyst, a lecturer, a researcher to enlighten minds, or even join the UN NGO activism. Speak your mind, be agent of change and impact lives. And guess what? When you find yourself truly care about humanity and the world we live in, and you feel the urge to make a difference, you need to seek no more. UPH International Relations exists to equip you with comprehensive and dynamic knowledge and skill set. There are three concentrations for you to pick international trade, ASEAN and Southeast Asia studies, and corporation and international security. Each one is equally interesting and applicable to another. UPH IR also offers master degree where you can certainly deepen your IR bachelor's degree understanding and continue focusing the concentration. If you are now asked to conduct self-quarantine, social and physical distancing, to keep ourselves at home and do everything from home, it is only for one reason to save humanity. Everyone has their own part in this uncertain situation. Let's do ours by simply staying productive at home. And worry not, your lecturers are doing their best to make sure your online academic experiences are pleasant. From UPH IR to the world, stay safe, stay at home, and support global cooperation.